Hi guys, well over the last few days you'll have seen board manufacturers announcing their upcoming Z370 boards. And so with the new chipset and 8th gen processors almost here, you know, just around the corner, we thought we'd give you a bit of a taste of what is to come. Now the NDA uh, that we we're under at the moment kind of prevents us from showcasing any performance or specifications so this video today is going to be kind of short and sweet and so we've got three boards here which we've already benchmarked and overclocked with our 8th gen CPU uh, these are from Aorus, Azus and Asrock now we had planned to include um, MSI as well but there was a bit of a mix up with the address and so that's meant that the board has kind of been delayed and it hasn't been delivered on time. Now all of these boards here are going to kind of sit in a mid-tier type of position so they should offer a good balance of features for the price. So first up we have the Aorus Ultra Gaming which comes with a new design and one which makes use of a neutral theme with black and grey being used as those two primary colours. As can be expected Aorus don't shy away from RGB lighting and so expect plenty of ambience. Next we have the ASUS Strix Z370F and we actually reviewed the Z270F and we really like that board and this Z370 here is again very similar in its appearance with a slight modification there to the heat sinks. And you can also see that we now get an M.2 heatsink which marries up with that huge chipset heatsink. And again just as we had with the Z270, this board is keeping the RGB lighting low key with just a strip there on the input output cover. And then last of all we have the ASRock Z370 Extreme 4 which boasts simple and understated styling and it places a lot of emphasis on power delivery with a strong phase design. The Extreme 4 has always been a board that we've kind of focused on throughout the different generations. It sits in a mid-tier position and it's always offered in the past a decent balance of features and performance for those not wanting to spend a lot of cash. So that is just a quick look at what is coming from some of the board manufacturers. I know it's been pretty brief, but there is a bit of a limitation on what we can show at this stage. But obviously, you know, once that embargo does lift, then we will have that full coverage on all of these boards and more on the channel and also on Vortex.net. Now one thing is pretty clear from having all these boards here lined up and next to each other is that they all carry a very similar palette of colour. All of these brands have used black and gun metal for the styling and while this is great for hardware combos, you know, matching and pairing kit up, I personally really miss those days when we used to have reds and blues and other tones like gold being used. Designers do seem to be avoiding colour altogether and so what we're getting is very similar solutions between any of these companies here. And so guys, we'll leave it right there. As I said, this is just going to be short and sweet today. Hopefully that has kind of, you know, whet your appetite as to what is coming with this new chipset and what is available. I'd be very interested actually to know what your first impressions of these boards are. And so let me know which one you like the look of in the comments box below. And that is me signing out guys. I'll see you guys next time.